Hey guys, today I'm going to introduce you to our new project which I'm working on with a teammate. So pretty much I'm in charge of the art, although I also do some of the coding and my teammate works on the coding. So the name of the game is The Seven Deadly. It's a 2D top-down roguelike in which you have to defeat the seven deadly sins which are represented by a boss. What you're watching right now is our procedural level generation system for dungeons. However, it will change because as you can see there's this uh, certain distance between the rooms and we don't really like the results so we're going to change that so it looks more random. We'll also have another system for the world which will be separate uh, but at least like this you can take a look of how the tiles look. As you can see we have our movement system and we also have our dash system which serves as a roll. The movement we have uh, in the 8 axes and you might be observing some weird things in the entrances of the rooms. Uh, don't mind that, those are just placeholders for the doors. They aren't really noticeable but basically when there are uh, enemies in the room and you go in, those doors will go up. As you can see, we also have a pretty cool system to see the player behind walls, so you can tell where they are. And we also have a few enemies. Right now, the only thing we have in the game engine are some slimes, pretty basic enemies. However, we also have some other designs, which I'll show you next. Uh, the AI right now is using a algorithm which is really easy to use with Game Maker, which pretty much works with grids. And it works especially well for our kinds of games. If it's if it was a platformer, it would be more complicated. But with top-down games, it works like a charm, like really well. On screen, there are some of the designs I've made so far. We probably won't get to use most of these, like maybe one or two. There will also be different classes of enemies, of course, so some of them will be like knights, others will be archers, and so on. We also have some designs for the bosses, but we don't want to show those since we figure they will be big spoilers for the game. Also, we are working on a webpage, so by the time you're watching this, we'll probably have it made. So make sure to check on the link down below. Also, make sure to check our Twitter. We post daily content, so you pretty much know what we're doing at every moment. And also, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this devlog. We'll probably post the next one around Sunday or Monday of next week. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.